you will never see to the mighty name of Jesus. Don't come, don't mute me. If you are a rebel, I can see you on the tail. Shame me, shame me, shame me. Call out your rebels now. If I see anything on my tail again, you all will be caught. You open their page for us to, be, to, to vote for Bella because all your women that rise up were not ready to vote for her. We went all out for this girl. People voted for Donny. They voted for Donny, but we went all out for Bella. We were voting for Bella. We were doing all stuff for her. Breaking out our money to vote for this girl. Look at how you are paying us. You will never see any good thing in life in the mighty name of Jesus. My pounds that I used to, I spent my money. You will never see any good thing in life. I am going to turn light to in fact. <sighs> okay let me not let me not talk too much let me just call this another episode of bringing the violence and the gist for you guys from twitter the headquarters of violence this particular voice note or this particular yeah this particular audio is from a space that was held today now what caused all this uproar I've been an opera. How do you call it? Opera. Opera. <laughs> opera. <laughs> so, what caused this particular ginger from everybody today was because of a post that somebody put up about Shegs. And um, apparently, the person was, the person labeled Shegs as an abuser. And that now caused a lot of, you know, back and forth between Bella's fans and Shegs fans, right? It was mostly Shex fans that were angry because they were saying that a lot of Bella fans were supporting, retweeting, and going with the article. So, you know, everybody went on the defense and anger mode. So I'm not going to be talking too much in this video because we, as in, we have a long um, audio to listen to. I tried to cut it down. The, um, the space went on for like over four hours, even though I was not there throughout, but it was a long space. I just, you know, decided to cut um, tell to get some of the audio so the way it's going to be is that i'm going to play um one from like a shex fan then one from Be a bella fan i'm just going to arrange it accordingly so that it's going to be balanced let me just allow you guys to listen don't forget to like share subscribe drop your comments let me know what you think and you know everything so yeah I'm, I'm not going to be here to tell you people that uh, shex is perfect he is far from perfect but he's not what you people are calling him because we've watched him fight over and over again. There is nothing aggressive in this boy. This boy practically sits down to tell you whatever he wants to tell you. And then you are going to come and call him an abuser. Do you even know what a, 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 a abuse is? What Nigeria is doing to this boy is totally wrong. He does not deserve it. Hemis calls um, Alison a bitch. Adekule was this close to giving Titi a dirty slap. And nobody calls them an abuser. But because of what something, a video that was found on YouTube, where the girl in question did not even mention Sheikh's name. And then you people are just going to run with it. That, oh, he abused, he abused your mother or who? Or your grandmother. I don't understand it. I am sorry for being this book. I am angry. I have six brothers. And I swear, if someone does this to my brother, I will look for that person and I will kill that person. I am sorry to say. You can't do that. Feminism has turned our head into something, into, I don't know. Our own brand of feminism in Africa is horrible. That because Shex is Shex, he cannot get angry. No. If Bella does something wrong to him, he should smile. This guy has not even told Bella, you are stupid. Something is wrong with you. No. He throws a question. And this question, this argument comes when, let me talk, baby, let me talk, let me talk. And the girl will keep talking. Why is it that people are not realizing that Bella is a defensive person and that she does not even take correction for anything? And what is your definition of abusive? I want to know. You people are making mockery of the abu of abuse victims. That is what you're doing. He's controlling. He's gaslighting. He's this. He's this. Come on. Someone's son. And then someone is coming to say, oh, you people are backward. No, you thinking that it's okay. That it's okay to do what you're doing is the person that is backward in your thinking, not the other way around. What happens to innocent till proven guilty? Have you proven this, girl, uh, this boy guilty? And now suddenly you're telling me that Bella, Bella does not know what she's doing because she's in love. Love kill all of you there. What love? If this guy, this girl has said over and over again that he treats me well. He treats me well. She even said, oh, Ebuka said opposite of what you are. She's not stupid. She is not stupid. If she says she treats her well, then he does treat her well. You cannot be in your sitting room on your dark hole somewhere to tell an adult, a 25-year-old boy. I remember that this girl is 25, this boy is 26. 
if he was a little bit older, probably you people have, would have added grooming to his list of crimes. And I'm done. I'm done. I like I've had it up to here. It's enough. Abusive, abusive. What has he done? None of you have been able to tell me, oh, this is one thing he did that is abusive. You're saying he uses curse word. Are you people okay? Even if you've not been abroad, you don't watch their movies to say that it's a normal thing for them to use curse word. Or you think it's okay to pretend your whole life away. Good person. But inside you're a demon. You're, you, 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 you guys, because if you're on Twitter, doing what you're doing to this board, then you're a demon, you're demonic. And you're the one that was not trained well. Your family should be ashamed of you. And you people had better know what you're doing. Because it, it, for the person that said, uh, them, this, uh, these are the people that will bring up the next generation. I am sorry for the generation of women you want to bring up. You want to bring up generation of women that are intolerant, that don't forgive, that don't have sense. That think, oh, um, putting men on inside the bottle and locking them up. And dehumanizing them, making them scared of even breathing. If, the, if those are the kind of women you want to bring up, I'm sorry. I do not want to have anything to do with it. For one week out of eight weeks, for one week, Shex made the mistake of being down emotionally. He, he committed a crime of being down emotionally and then probably lashing out on his girlfriend that has refused to understand that, oh, this is not his usual character. Oh, let me, let me, let me do this. Let me do. No. You decided that that week that he's a victim, and he has said it over and over again. He has even apologized that, oh, look at what happened to me now. Look at what, did you people hear when he said, oh, that at a point he even went to the diary room to sit? You people should be ashamed of yourself. If this is the kind of women you want to bring up, Xiaone. But we can clearly see the abuse, and why are we not speaking on it? Abuse is not just hitting, is not just someone hitting you. There are manipulation involved, and we can clearly see that it happens all the time. Why do we think it is okay to say that because Cher says I love you, or because he fixes her breakfast, or because he's that this is the same person who says I love you, and at the same time is is being insulted to you? And I don't understand why people say that in a relationship. Don't you uh, tell your husband or don't you tell your man that he's stupid, and then you reconcile? It is look every relationship should be built on mutual respect. It is that mutual respect. It is when you have mutual respect for your partner that you don't you don't call them stupid because there should be no. It, for, to all the women here, I don't. This is not Bella and Sheikh's related thing anymore. No woman should allow a man speak to her that way, and no man should allow a woman verbally abuse him that way. It is not right. It is not. We are clearly. I don't know about other people, but we are clearly seeing the things he's doing. And when Ebuka addressed the issue that he addressed, of course she she said what she said. The girl is, you see, a victim. They do not know that they are victims until they, they are in the situation. If you're if you're in a puddle, you do not see that you're you're surrounded until you come out of it. It is only when she comes to that realization herself, and even after that show, you can you can you 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 definitely could hear her say that, you know, I've been talk, talking to you about this thing and you've not been minding. She she probably has her own. I, I God, I don't. I'm I'm thrown. I, I'm 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 shocked by some of the comments I'm hearing here by women, especially who want to breastfeed shakes. And applauding the things he's doing because you're a stan? Come on. There are so many things that this gentleman is doing. So many things. I'm not I'm not disputing the fact that Bella can be rude. Bella has a sharp mouth. Yes, we know all of that. That is a personal goal. That is a personal issue which she has to deal with. But that relationship that she's in right now is toxic to both her and then the guy. How do you go and then take up a, a fight that is not, which I even blame Bella in the first instance. Let's check fight as fight. I mean, if he's having issues with Rachel, why why get involved? Because yes, he was speaking up for her. Yes, and then she also did the same for, for, for him. Okay. And then when she's trying to tell you that, you, you know what? You don't need to do all of this. You don't need to explain. You don't need to carry this conversation again. Just, and then did you guys really watch that show? See how he turned to her and completely shut her up. She doesn't have a voice. Shut her up and tell her, you're not my mama and don't don't speak to me. You're just my woman. So wait, if you're someone's woman or if you're in a relationship, does it mean you're not allowed to have a voice? You are not allowed to speak on things that you, you don't want? Oh, come on, guys. Come on. The abuse is clear. And we leave the fan bases to do whatever they want to do. That's their own problem. Let the Shella fans breastfeed shakes all they want. Let them cuddle Bella all they want. Let the rebels uh, uh, promote their girl all they want. Let the Shex FC promote their faith all, all they want. But the truth is, we are seeing the abuse. We are seeing the isolation. We are seeing the manipulation. We are seeing all of it. Why are we not speaking on it? And just doing stanship every season, every season in 
every year, every every year in, every year out, we do the same thing all over again. When are we going to learn? I mean, if women are doing this, if we, the women who are supposed to speak up on things affecting us, are actually condoning uh, and we are condoning the things happening, how do we expect to change? It only goes to show the things we we accept and allow in our relationships. I, I do events for a living and I can say for a fact that you will do an event and then on the, on the eve of the, the ceremony, you can tell the couples are fighting and you're asking yourself, why are you still in this toxic relationship? Why? For societal approval? Let's leave them to, let them leave their reality in the house. It's up to them. We, no, nobody can carry information to them. Let, them. let them leave their relationship. And then we as people outside the house address the issues as we see them. If they come out and they decide that, you know what, yeah, I think this is actually toxic for both of us. Let's go our separate way. That is up to them. But why are we not speak on the substantive issues at hand? God. Okay, thank you very much. If you face stuff in your relationships, you face issues, you face abuse, you've been beaten, can you please not put it on this guy? Can you please not put your sad lives on this? I'm not speaking to rebels. I'm speaking to any believer of that narrative that Sheds is an abuser. Can you please not put your, your failed life on, any, on him? This is a 27-year-old guy that is growing. If they don't want them to use some kind of words in Big Brother house, I think they would have put it in the rule book and just said, don't put it, do you know, you guys shouldn't use these words. We've seen a lot of them use words to the, on themselves. But because my own fave, Shags, went ahead to go and toast a girl in, I don't know why he went to toast her. And then she said, yes, so now they are now married. They are now saying, you no know, domestic violence. I put it to you guys because of the video, Beauty by Bemi did, 2019. And people brought it up. Shags br broke up with his girlfriend 10 months ago. Beauty by Bemi's history so story was 2019. She dated the guy for a year. Shags' relationship was for three years. And I don't understand how the story correlates. He's going to come out and defend himself because really, the entire video that everybody watched right, has become a tag to where people start creating their own story and labeling him an abuser. So many of us are married, not five years, and we don't receive shit from men. I don't receive, nobody will talk to me anyhow. How can a three or four weeks or six weeks relationship turn you to someone that cannot tell you what you can take and what you cannot take as a woman? You, you call yourself alpha, right, Bella? I'm an alpha female. You don't tell me shit. I dictate the relationship. I am still dictating it till tomorrow. So she should say what she can take and what she can't take. And if you can't take it, let her tell the guy, you are fine, but let me go to hell, go away. And people make it seem like she's a victim. She's a victim of an abuse that she's caged in one place and nobody, she doesn't have a right to speak, to say, I don't want this relationship again, no, go away. If this guy is such a bad person, everybody rules it out to say that because he says, he said, yes, I understand, stupid is wrong. Saying so, so easy, she's stupid, she's sick, he's wrong. But guess what? It's because of the label we have seen on him. And he's a growing man. He will grow out of this whole thing that we're talking about. Because really, he's a very big experience for Shakes. And I believe that. But not to, this doesn't call for a lifetime label, labeling somebody. And then you're making the person feel like the person has killed someone. Please, if you are without sin, can you raise up your hands? If you are without sin, can you raise up your hands? And he's learning. He will learn. He, this same person has showed this girl so much love and dedication, commitment and faithfulness. This is beauty left that place. She left that place because of a man that was not true to her. And it's not, I'm not blaming Groovy. Girls were all over him as well. But she did not even take it on to say, I want to. He, he committed to this relationship. If you are taking things against him, he, he abused her. You take against the good things he has done for her. I joined you guys' face, rebels. And I heard you guys say she's not she's a victim, but it doesn't it's not a label. That you guys said she should, you guys should feed on the, on this opportunity to get our vote to win. We that voted for we have people that voted up to 500k, 350k for, for when Shosh Bella stays in that place. Let me tell you something, it's not about the hundred million anymore. It's about a lifetime damage that you people want to do to a relationship that might even try better if both of them actually seek help and whatever counseling or whatever to get better. Because guess what? It's possible that they will come out of that place and hate each other. 
and that could be a potential good relationship. As it is, as a Shex FC, I liked Bella. I'm saying liked in the past because really, I'm going to look away from her now. You guys are mean to Shex. Chimmy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Shex is a good man and God will um, vindicate him. Afra, are you ready oh. to speak? I'm ready, I'm ready. Can you hear me well? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So before I start, before I finish and go into what I want to say, can I just say that right now, by Shags FC, posting it, there are photos of my father, photos of my grandmother, photos of my mother when she was a child, being shared by Shags FC as I talk to you right now. This isn't the first time. This isn't the second time. It's not going to be the third time or the last time. When I tell you that these people are just like the people that they are following, you think it's a joke. For the show has been on for what, eight weeks? For seven of those eight, eight weeks, every single day, one of these clowns is on my LinkedIn, on my Instagram, Googling me, all that shit. I've had to report to Twitter over 30 times. And I'm still doing it today. But you know why I haven't stopped? And you know why I won't stop? It's because of the women who come on this space and try to justify this behavior. I'm going to give a lot of women the benefit of the doubt and say, okay, we, a lot of us think of abuse as just punching, punching somebody, maybe killing them, whatever. We don't understand what leads to it. The person that beats somebody usually doesn't just start by boxing them or slapping them. They usually start like this. Chipping away your self-esteem as, as he's been doing to Bella. You remember Bella in the first week when he first said to her, you can't dance with anybody else. She told him, who the hell do you think you are? I will dance with whoever, whoever the hell I want. Juxtapose that Bella with this Bella. The abuse isn't always obvious. The abuse isn't always what you know. Sometimes it's what you don't know. We, we're watching this season to learn about love bombing. <laughs> oh, stop requesting to follow me. I won't accept your request on Instagram. We watched this season to, to learn about love bombing. We've watched this season to learn about these deep manipulative tactics that this guy employs. I can't wish any of that on any of you. Because what it does to your psychological state, it might kill you. This show is mostly watched by women. This is the second space I'm in today, and I usually do my own on Mondays. This show is mostly watched by women. We are the ones who tweet about it the most. We are the ones who give money the most. We are the ones who make spaces, Facebook groups, Instagram groups, WhatsApp groups. So we're doing the work that usually the companies who put on these shows, they pay millions for people to do for them. We're doing it for free. That is why these conversations are important. Forget that I'm, I'm not a rebel. I'm Bella Mafia. Forget that I'm supporting Bella. Just forget that for a moment. Because for me, this show is bigger than who I am supporting right now. This abuse that's going on in the house, the abuse that's going on on Twitter, the abuse that's going on on Instagram, because the abuse is going on everywhere, endangers the show. It endangers the livelihoods of the people who work on the show. And it endangers your favorites. Because the people that are sharing photos of my family think that I'm going to take it lying down. I won't. I have never accused Sheldon of anything he hasn't done with evidence on the show. And I start, every single thing I've said about this man, I stand by. In person, online, anywhere you jam me, I stand by that shit. He's an abuser who is abusing somebody in the house and he's getting away with it. So you women who come on here and talk about he's good looking, oh, why can't Bella stand up for herself? People are lying on shags, people are this, that, and the third. Instead of you to calm down, look and learn. Because in your life, someone might be doing that to you or your loved one today. You think, oh, it's Bella, she's rude now, she deserves it. I don't know what it is. Because every season we get something like this where you have grown women. And I'm, I'm on the older end of the spectrum. I'm a millennial, I'm not a Gen Z person, right? I've been watching this show since uh, Seagull Day. I've been there when T-Boss was sexually abused and Big Brother had to deal with that. We saw the verbal abuse that Toby and, 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 and Cece, their situation, how that happened. But we've never seen anything like this. The systematic whittling down of someone's esteem over a number of weeks. And we're watching it 
and people are denying that what we can see with our eyes is not what's going on. Women are denying this. And sometimes I think, you know, people deny what's obvious because as far as they are concerned, they don't want what's going on in their lives to be pointed out to them. You know, when people say, oh, someone has something bad going on in their life, but they don't want you to know, not because they don't know, but because they don't want to be embarrassed by letting the world know that they're being abused or that they're being cheated or that they're being reduced. So one Shegs fan came on this stage and said, oh, don't put on Shegs if you're being this, if you're being that. We don't have to put anything on Shegs when he has not put on himself. He's an abuser who is abusing somebody. And I will keep saying it because the attempt to whitewash this man, they tried it. They tried it. They tried to gaslight us. But we remember and we have evidence this man is an abuser in that house. Bella is more than a victim, right? But she is a victim of his abuse. And everyone who should care isn't doing anything about it. And then you have these women who come on here. Oh, our precious London baby boy. Let's breastfeed him. God punish her. God will punish you. God will punish you. Hello, Chimmy, I thought you said no insults. I thought you said no insults. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, guys, please. Apologies for that. So, you guys have listened to it. I decided that I'm not going to impute my opinions in this particular video because I believe that this particular video is going to be long already and opinions are just all over the place. Just let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye. Love you.